everyone, it's Autumn with Fall Girl DIY. Okay, so I'm in my kitchen and typically I'm in my craft room when I'm doing um, tutorials and I have my earpiece in so I want to make sure that you guys can hear me and that I'm up and going. So let me, I have my computer over here so I can see you guys, hopefully answer all of your questions, but most importantly, I hope you can hear me. Let me... Hopefully you guys can hear me. Let me know if you can hear me. Hello, Eileen. All right, and I'm going to, I don't know what I just did. I'm gonna sprinkle this on over to my VIP group. Excellent, hello. Okay, hello, someone said Ellie I can see, baby. I can see, thank you. All right, so sprinkling this on over to my VIP group. If you guys are not a part of my VIP group, make sure you comment hashtag VIP so I can get you in that. Um, but let's get, I think it's like, yep, 8.30 on the dot. So let's get started with hot chocolate bombs. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so much fun to make. They're really easy. I've been seeing them all over Pinterest, and I was like, okay, I've got to try this out. And... Um, I did it with my kids. My kids and I made them and they turned out really good. Like my kids were able to do it. And so this is super simple. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, make sure. Oh no, Brooke, I just unplugged my computer. Sorry, my computer is about to die, but I want to make sure that it's over here, baby. Um, that you can hear me and you can see me. Yes, molds are kind of hard to find right now. I live in the Dallas area and we have a cake supply store. So Google cake supply stores that are around you to see if there are any around you and they possibly will have molds. Um, I did grab two different kinds of molds. I do use the silicone molds just because it makes it easy for your molds to pop out. Um, so this is a two and a half inch sphere mold and um, this is a two inch silicone mold and I have two of them um, so if you want smaller ones like smaller cups of hot chocolate definitely go with the two inch but I like the two and a half inch sphere mold so that is what we're using so I'm gonna place these over here um, a tip or trick Yes, Amazon has them. I've heard stories that people are having a little bit of a difficult time getting them in quickly because they want to make these. So that's the only holdback um, from Amazon. Oh, thank you so much, Jennifer. We did, we redid this kitchen on our own. We changed out the countertops. Um, obviously, we didn't make those, but we um, went and picked, like, handpicked our countertops. We did all the brickwork ourselves and painted the cabinets and all that so yes so um we are using tonight i'm going to use white chocolate and these are just white chocolate vanilla um melts all right so a tip for your silicone mold get a paper towel and literally wipe down your even though like it might be clean you just used it and you cleaned it, wipe it down with a paper towel because that is how your mold will have get the shiny, the shiny look. So if you if you do this and your mold or your chocolate bomb is kind of um, like a matte and not glossy, it might be because you need to wipe your mold down. My paper towel is kind of um, shedding, so I'm trying to get the paper towel out of my mold. So trick, if the paper towel doesn't work, another option is to rub it down with Everclear and just wipe it out and that will get your mold, your silicone mold, super clean and get your um, chocolate bombs to be shiny to outside. All right, so this is one pound of vanilla candy melts. They have these at Walmart. They have them at cake supply stores. Again, that's just where I get mine because that's where I got all of my, 
all my other supplies. So I'm just going to do um, like a fourth of the bag. And I just put it in a ceramic bowl and I heat it in my microwave. I heat it in my microwave at level three um, and I do this at like about a minute at a time and then stir. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the microwave. Again, level three for a minute, stir, and then we just keep adding 30 seconds to a minute until our chocolate is almost melted. So we're gonna go over here. All right, so hopefully I won't forget it because I put it in for five minutes, but I like to just put it in for five minutes, um, but stir it at, improve, like, you know, your, um, at your 30 second and one minute marks. Mikey, I'm sorry if my video is skipping. It either is my internet, I can't do anything about it, so I apologize. Hopefully you're getting all the information. Hello from Michigan. Hello Kim from Iowa. You guys, these are so much fun. Don't forget to sprinkle the video. Also, I have a VIP group. If you want to be a part of the VIP group, make sure you comment hashtag VIP and I will get you in that group. I'll send you the link after this video. But we're just heating our chocolate right now. And I'm doing white chocolate, vanilla white chocolate tonight. Or it's just vanilla candy melts. And we're doing for about a minute at a level three or a power of three on the microwave. And then I will pull this out and show you guys that it probably looks like nothing has happened, but that is okay. You want to just stir your chocolate around, okay? This is an important step. Even though it hasn't melted or done anything, you want to make sure that you stir. You're getting your warmer chocolates from the outside to move to the inside, and you want to continue to do that. It's like curing your chocolate. So. Even though it's not melting just yet, make sure you stir. Thank you, Pam. Hello, Jessica from Washington. And if you have any questions um, throughout any of the process, just please put those in the comments and I am so happy to help and answer those. Yes, I'm sorry if the video is skipping. Maybe go out and then come back in is what Charlotte's saying. I apologize for that. But you guys, these are so fun. So easy to make. Again, okay, so here now we have some of our chocolate is starting to melt. So you want to move the outside chocolate inside. So you really just are stirring that around, okay? And we're just going to keep going until our chocolate is almost melted. You don't want it to be like super melty. You want that last one to when you stir, that's when it kind of gets all melted. What if you don't like chocolate? Then Ryan, make it for your family. <laughs> but I mean, they have candy melts of all different colors and all different flavors. Um, I mean, so you can do... If you don't like chocolate at all, this probably isn't your thing. But, um, it, I mean, you can do white chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. They have, I mean, even just, I think they're vanilla flavored, but they have all those different colored candy melts at Walmart. Pink and blue and green. All right, so let's keep stirring. We're getting close. And again, this was just um, like a fourth of a pound of that chocolate. And I'm just stirring that up. Maybe it's the microwave. Who knows? Maybe it's the microwave. I need water. I need some milk. Okay. There you go. All right. Let's see how close we are. I wanted to show you. I thought about melting the chocolate before I started. Yeah, yeah, yes. But I wanted to show you. So I am just stirring, and now after I stir, the chocolate is nice and melted. All right, you guys, can you, I want to make sure you can see. 
that everything is in the right place for you to see. Don't forget to sprinkle the video. I have some paper towel leftovers in my mold, so I'm trying to get those out, sorry. And let me know that you sprinkle. Yes, you can use, um, you can use real chocolate. You don't have to use melts. Um, I just have melts, and so that's what I'm using. All right, so what I do is I have a teaspoon and I literally just put like a glob, a teaspoon glob in each um, sphere. So we're just getting our teaspoon of candy melt and putting our glob of chocolate in it. All right, so the next thing I would recommend, and this is what I use, some people use a spoon, but I have, like, I just bought two new paint brushes for food use only, and all you do is get your paintbrush. Don't press hard. All you're doing is pressing enough for that chocolate for you to essentially, literally, move that chocolate in the mold up the sides. And you just want to make sure that you come all the way up to the edges of your mold. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll turn it so I can see. So you just put, again, your blob of chocolate or white chocolate, your candy melts, whatever you're using. And... Put that in your sphere and then use your paintbrush to move it up the sides and around your sphere. You guys, how easy is that? It's so fun too, but don't push hard like I said. Just, you're literally just using your paintbrush to move the chocolate. Our next door neighbor's dog is barking really loud, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. All right, so we're just moving that around. And it is okay if your first layer, you can still see some of the mold because you have to do two layers of chocolate for, for these. You just wanna make sure, like I said, that you come all the way up to the edge. All right, so we have our chocolate in our molds, and now we put them in the fridge for five minutes. And literally, guys, I just put them on a shelf in my fridge and then set my timer over here for five minutes. But the cool thing is, is because you have to do two layers, by the time you put your next fourth of a cup or fourth of a pound of chocolate in, and start melting that, it's almost time to do your next thing. Thank you guys so much for sprinkling. You guys are so awesome. I also um, would recommend washing your paintbrush before your second one because that chocolate will harden on your paintbrush. Just get hot water, run your um, paintbrush under hot water and get that chocolate off so it's clean and ready to go for your next um, your next layer. All right. Oh, did, did Red run by? That's too funny. My dogs. All right. So this time when I'm doing melting, I'm going to do a little bit more than, um, like I said, this is a pound and I did about a quarter of it. I'm going to do a little bit more because I want some extra for the drizzle on top. So I'm going to do a little just a little bit more. You don't need much at all, especially where the one mold makes three hot chocolate bombs. So I am just adding a little bit more again so I have drizzle for the top. All right, so let's put that back in our microwave. Again, we're gonna do 
do that. At a level three or a power level of three. Let me know if you have any kitchens. Thank you so much, Anita. And don't forget to sprinkle and then let me know if my kids are like dying of thirst apparently while this video is going on. Um, let me know if you'd like to be a part of my VIP group. Comment hashtag VIP and I will get you in that. And we're just heating up our second batch of chocolate and you can do um, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, any chocolate that you can find. If you have a, like a chunk or a block of chocolate, um, just scrape it or um, shred it, your chocolate, and then melt it down. So you literally can use anything. All right, and then again, we're just getting our chocolate and moving the outside pieces to the inside. And then we have our mold that we did our first layer with in the fridge. Yes, I have two Goldens. They're not in here right now, but um, one's named Arlo. He's the lighter colored one. And then red is the red Golden. But they're both Golden. They're half brothers. <laughs> they're so fun. I love Goldens. They're my favorite dogs. But I'm not petting them right now because I don't want their hair in our chocolate. <laughs> All right, let's stir that up. Our neighbor's dog. I know I can hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. He is barking like crazy. All right, so after that melts, we'll take the mold out of the fridge and literally do the same thing. Another layer with um, the melted chocolate that you choose. And then also let me know if you have any questions, put those in the comments, tag some friends, sprinkle the video. I would absolutely love it. I'm so excited that you guys are here watching and learning. I used to have a border collie. He was, well, she was, she was half border collie, half lab. She was smart, 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 but had a ton of energy. All right, we're almost, we're almost to all the way melted. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna keep that going. The next thing that you'll need, I did not grab this. Let's see where my bags are. So I was gonna show you, yes, here they are. So for the drizzle, you can use a piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag, all you need is a Ziploc bag. And I use, um, we'll just use a snack bag version, Star Wars. So Yay. if you don't have a piping bag, totally fine. And our timer for our mold is done. And our candy, Second candy is melted. All right, so we have our melted candy. We're just stirring that up and another Christmas garland tutorial. I, I can do another Christmas garland tutorial. Sure, why not? All right, so we took it out of the fridge. Can you guys see that? Took it out of the fridge. This time I don't, since this is cold, I don't go ahead and pour my spoonful in because it will just harden since this is cold. So I just do it one at a time. So I add my spoonful to just one and then go around and the same thing. Push up all the way to the edges. And you guys, if it looks like a sloppy mess on the inside, don't worry because the outside turns out smooth and beautiful. 
So don't worry if the inside it's where you can messy. see, yeah, where it looks messy and you can see your paint strokes. Like, I promise you. That will not see. <laughs> you won't see it. They'll turn out perfect and they'll look show so them great. The ones that we already made? I took a picture and showed them. Yeah. Thank you. So we're just doing our second layer of chocolate. And you just want to make sure now with the second layer, if there are any parts that are poking through where you can see the silicone, you want to make sure that those are covered up because you don't want your balm to have holes. Your chocolate balm. I always feel weird saying the word balm, but I'm like, okay, everybody knows what I'm really making. I'm making hot chocolate balls, but... They're called bombs, and it's just weird. Because it explodes. <laughs> it does explode. It's pretty cool. All right. So we're just putting that chocolate in. Okay, when you undo these, put them under and put them under things. Because when we tried to lift them up on, on a plate. Oh, yeah, you want to make sure. And I'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll put them on parchment paper. Parchment paper? Because yeah. ours just broke. We lost Well, because. Yeah. Well, because I put chocolate down on the plate so they wouldn't roll around. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do you guys have any questions about, did you put anything in with the chocolate melts? I did not. So um, some people, they feel like their chocolate might be too thick and you can add, um, you can add oil to your chocolates or to your melts. I did not. I haven't had that problem so I literally just use the chocolate melts and it has worked out great. Yeah. They're so much fun. They're really fun. We gave some to our neighbors and they loved them and they said they tasted great. So that was exciting. Alright so now we have our second layer. We're going to go ahead and put that in the fridge. You can see we still have chocolate left, and that's going to be plenty for our drizzle when we are done with these. So let's put those in the fridge. And it's, it's with the drizzle, you got to do it really fast, so it, it's kind of a two-person thing. But it will actually be Well, for kids, even they might need help. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to wash my paintbrush, and again, just hot water. To get that chocolate off and again I just use this paintbrush for food so Tammy I am doing my chocolates in the microwave for one minute at a level three and then stir one minute stir and then I check it every about 30 seconds after the two minute mark Virginia it's your first time watching welcome and guys, make sure that you sprinkle the video. I'd really appreciate it. And then also tag some friends. And then if you're not a part of my VIP group, make sure you comment hashtag VIP so I can send you the link to that group. Oh, let me set my timer. We're going to put that mold back in the um, fridge for five minutes. So oh, it gets nice and cool. You're doing and the then, chocolate mix this time? Uh-huh. All right. Hot so pieces. now we're... Um, I'll show you, just in case you don't have a piping bag at home, you don't need this. Um, you can just use literally a, a Ziploc baggie. And this is a snack, a snack version of we snack bag. Which bags? We ran out? Yeah. Oh, I just saw this one, so I grabbed it. So I'm just going to put the rest of my chocolate. I don't need it now, buddy, because I'm just going to use this. I'm just going to put the rest of my chocolate or my melted candies in my baggie and then if you are say taking longer and you're not going to do this pretty quick all you have to do is set this baggie and make sure you zip like zip zip it shut so water won't get in it um, but all you need to do is set it in um, some warm a bowl, a bowl of warm water or a bowl of hot water to keep it melted I did not spray the mold with anything I just wipe it down with a paper towel. Janice, these will be so fun to make with your kids. The first time we did them, I made them with my kids. I'm gonna wash my bowl and put some warm water in there just to show you to make sure that my candy 
candy stay melted, try to hey, rinse in. Mama, can I help me with the candy cream mix? Can I pour the candy cream mix? Yeah. Yes! Alright, so I'm just getting some warm water in my bowl. So all I do is have warm water and I'm just setting my bag in there. So if you don't have a piping bag, all you need is a little Ziploc baggie. Let me wipe down my area. It's getting messy. Did you show all right. what you needed? And the mold I use, let me show you the mold I use. I bought two of them, but I'm only using one tonight. So the one mold will make three chocolate bombs. Um, and this is a two and a half inch sphere. And I got this at... Um, it's a place in Dallas called Cake Carousel. You might be able to purchase online too. I do know that they have an online store. Cake Carousel is the name of that. Um, but they have two and a half inch, and then they also have two inch molds too. So if you wanted to make a smaller hot chocolate bomb, you totally could. So the other thing that I'm using is um, I found this candy cane hot cocoa mix at Walmart. So great value. So peppermint flavored hot cocoa. So that's what we're going to do tonight. But if you just want normal hot cocoa mix, y'all, there's so many different hot cocoa mixes. This is the other one that I use. Um, that one's the it's best just one. this is the one my kids like. Is this milk chocolate? But, but Swiss this. makes packets where you can get flavored hot chocolate of all different flavors. So and some packets. you can, I mean, you literally pick whatever hot chocolate mix that you want. Like, here's a packet. Oh, good, Gina. These are so fun. Okay, and then um, if you want sprinkles on top of your hot cocoa bomb, you can get sprinkles. You can get whatever you want. Yeah, you can buy the packets like this as well. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Um, you need, for the big ones, for the two and a half inch spheres, you do need two tablespoons. And you'll put two tablespoons of the hot cocoa mix in each bomb. And then I'm going to use sanding sugar. Since we're doing like a, can, like I'm using the candy cane, I wanted to do like red and white. So that's why I'm doing the white chocolate uh, melt to make my bomb white and then drizzle it with white. And then I found these really cute snowflake sprinkles. So I thought that was cute. Um, there's also edible glitter. That's so much fun to add glitter. And then sanding sugar is fun because it's very shiny and pretty and it's sugar. So that is what we're going to use. And then also mini marshmallows. So you want to make sure you have some mini marshmallows. Yeah, mini marshmallows. Yes. And after, um, after the live, I'll go through. And if you are not in my VIP group, make sure you comment hashtag VIP and I will get that link to you. So let me open up. I haven't even opened up this hot cocoa yet. Yeah, we've never tried it before. Mm, it smells good. You can smell the peppermint in it. it smells good. Yeah. Bro, come smell the peppermint. All right, our timer's going off. So that means our mold should be cold and smell ready. And it smells like it's smoking. Let's check our mold. Before we go to the next step, I like to use a cookie sheet with a piece of parchment on it. And that way um, the chocolate won't stick to it. Parchment is great. I also typically use my oven, but, this is but I wanted you guys to be able to see the process. I'm trying to move everything so you can see. I'm going to turn it on. It's okay. Hold on just a second. Is it plugged in? Okay. Do you want me to plug it in? Yes, please. Okay. All right. So I have like, what is this even called? I don't even know. The it's called a griddle, a skittle, a skittle, <laughs> not a skittle, <laughs> it's a skillet, right a griddle. I never use this thing. Um, it's like a hot plate. And I was like, I need a hot plate. Um, and my husband was like, you have one. I was like, what? So I don't think this is a hot plate. I think it's, it's 
some it's type of. It's called a rebel. No, that's the brand. <laughs> Anyways, we're using this and we're heating it up. Be careful because it's going to get hot. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're about to take the chocolates out. And this is like the most fun part is popping these out. I and tried the, it. Can I the try first it? time that I did this, I was so nervous that I was going to break them. But look. How it just pops out. Look at that shine. Can I try it? Can you try not to break it? <laughs> all right, let's see. See if you can do it. You gotta push it all the way up. There you go, good job. So like I said, even though the inside, look at the inside, the inside does not look pretty, but the outside is perfect. Perfect and shiny. Yay! So then all you do for your next one is wash your silicone mold and then you can use it again and again and make lots of electric skillet there we go mom thanks and everybody thank you so much i was like i know it has a name but all right so because we are filling these up you only want to fill up half of it and so you get the two tablespoon two tablespoons and oh sorry but here you go you can come do it okay he's gonna put the two tablespoons in and then I just put some marshmallows on top <laughs> I keep it in the in the little Pour the rest in. There we go. All right. So two tablespoons. That's all we need. Thank you. We only do three. Yeah. All right. And then you put your little marshmallows on it. Can you guys see that? Okay. All right. Hopefully you can see that. I need to turn this down because it is super hot. I'm like starting to sweat. <laughs> all right. So half of our bomb, and I try not to touch them as least as possible because my hands are warm and I don't want it to melt. So I'm going to move my bombs away from my electric skillet because it is warm. Now here's the next step. This is the step that I was worried about but you guys it works. So all you do is get one of your empty shells, put it either on your stove like on a pan or for instance, I'm doing the electric skillet. You just want to set it in there where the edges melt. And then you literally place it on top of your other piece and press it down just gently. How easy is that? And it's so, so cool. So you just want to get the edges melted and then you put it on your other one and if there's some that kind of like if there's like a little bit of the edge that pushes out or like the chocolate kind of comes out all you have to do is wipe it down with your finger so super super easy so you just want the edges melted and then you put it on and I like to do it pretty quickly that way you're Edges are melted and it it will it will stick together. And you have your chocolate bombs, your hot chocolate bombs. If this was hot, that's why I moved it. All right, so we have our hot chocolate bombs. How cute are those? They look perfect. Look at that, you guys. How stinking fun is that? So fun. All right, so now because we did a peppermint hot chocolate mix, I wanted it to be um, just like with the snowflake sprinkles and um, the sanding sugar. You want me to scoot over? Okay, my husband's telling me what to do, sorry. Make sure I'm in the video. All right, so we have our chocolate that's set in our warm water, so it's still melted. And I'm just going to kind of wipe the bag down so um, just because of the water. Yep, exactly. Good job. All right. 
and let's make sure that our sprinkles are open because this will, the candy melt um, drizzle will dry pretty fast. So I just recommend doing it one at a time. And all I do is get my little Ziploc baggie and make a edge or a point and then cut just a little bit. And I literally squeeze and pour like that. And then I get my sugar and my sprinkles. And you can just put as many or as little as you want. And then let's do my sanding sugar first. These are so cute. And the, big, the bigger the um, point you cut, the bigger your line will be on your drizzle. So if you want a really thin line, cut a really little edge. What is sanding sugar? What is sanding sugar? It is that sugar. Confectioner's glaze. No, what, it's, is, what is it? It's just it's just a thick um, a thicker sugar that's used for like sugar cookies and baking, and it's literally just like a thicker, bigger sugar. It just makes it shine, makes baking goods shiny. Sanding sugar. Yep. This is what it looks like. Hopefully, you can see it. All right, so these just need to set for just a little bit and then this will dry and be done really quickly. Um, the next thing that you can do is you can definitely just put these on a plate um, or I bought these little boxes. They're really cute. They're in the, they were in the wedding section at Party City. They came in a pack, I think of like, I don't know, 20, 20 or 30, just these clear boxes. And the cool thing about them is they also come with these silver inserts. So you just put the insert in here. And where did you get your sanding sugar from? I got this from a cake baking store. Um, so a lot of the supplies that I got, my candy molds, my chocolate melts, um, my... Um, Sprinkles, they all came from a place outside of Dallas, like in the Dallas area called Cake Carousel. They do have an online store, so you might want to check them out, and I'll link them here. Kim, you can definitely watch the replay to learn how I made these. But these boxes are really cute in that um, hot chocolate bomb fits right in that circle. So all you do is pick your little hot chocolate bomb up and put it it's not dry yet so i would wait but i'm just showing you wait till your hot chocolate bomb is dry before you do this and then you just close it up you can put some ribbon around it but how stinking cute is that so fun and they're so easy not hard at all Again, the trick with the silicone mold to make your chocolate bombs shiny is to wipe it down before you use it with a paper towel. I don't use anything else, um, just a paper towel. And um, yeah, they're just larger crystals. Like even this sprinkles, but it just says sugar crystals. And these are just white, but they come in all different colors. You can get red, green, all the different colors all the sprinkles. So if you have any questions, please leave those in the comments. I hope you guys have enjoyed learning how to make hot chocolate bombs. And then I, before I leave, um, what I do is I just heat up a glass of milk um, in a coffee mug and then literally drop my hot chocolate bomb in the hot milk. Some people prefer just hot water. Um, we like to put our hot chocolate in milk. It just makes it creamier. Um, so just heat up a cup of milk drop your hot chocolate bomb in and watch the magic of your chocolate melting and the marshmallows popping up to the top. It's really, really fun. Y'all want to see one in action. Oh gosh. Let's see here. All right, so again, I get milk 
ready. We'll get our we'll get our cup and so what I typically do is we have a milk frother and this just will heat up the milk. Um, so I just pour milk into our frother. You can put the milk up, thank you, bud. And then I put it on our little machine. Start that. So that will get the milk heated up. Um, for a two, so I use a two and a half inch sphere mold, and I do two tablespoons of the hot chocolate mix in the two and a half inch sphere. You're welcome, Harriet. Thank you so much for watching. We're about, I'm about to heat up some milk and put one in the cup so you guys can see hopefully how it melts and watch it do its magic. Melody, I hope I answered your question. Let me see if I missed anything else. The cake supply store is called Cake Carousel and they do have an online store so you want to check them out as well. And then let me know if you want to join my VIP group, comment hashtag VIP. I will get you the link for that. But they're so fun. They're super easy to make. You guys are so sweet. Yeah, so you can put them in hot chocolate. I mean, don't put them in hot chocolate. <laughs> you can either put your hot cocoa bomb in hot water or hot milk, whichever you prefer. Yes, what a great gift. These are so fun. I um, made these and gifted some to my neighbor and she absolutely loved them. I'm just kind of scrolling through to see if I answered your questions or if you have any questions. Just let me know. The smaller mold, um, so typically kind of the rule of thumb with the, the mold is you fill it up with mix almost like almost to the top. You almost want to fill half of it with the hot cocoa mix. All right, so our milk's heating up. <laughs> My son's waiting patiently for it to heat up. You're welcome, Linda. They're so fun to make. And with the hot cocoa mix, you can you can put any type of hot cocoa mix. Um, tonight we use the candy cane, so it has like a peppermint flavored hot chocolate mix. Um, Swiss Miss always has different bags and flavors. I think I saw like a, a, car a salted caramel. Um, so many different flavors. Can you do us another, can you do another add the demo? Do another, I'm about to show you how it melts, like how it melts in your cup. So um, if, you did, if you didn't see how they were made, watch the replay and that will definitely show you how to put it in the mold, pop them out of the mold, fill them up. So make sure you catch the replay for that. Yes, here's the mold. This is what my two and a half inch sphere mold looks like. This is the two and a half inch, and then this one is the two inch mold. And these were from Cake Carousel. But you can get them online. Amazon has them online. Cake Carousel has a store online. Um, so make sure you just check both of those out. Any, okay, our milk is done. Let's pour it in. Thank you so much. All right. I love this part. All right. So we have our hot milk. And I, okay, let's see if I can put it. Is that a good spot, Brandon? I'll move. All right, so we're gonna pour our milk and don't pour it all the way to the top because you don't want it to spill, but you just pour your milk in to leave about that much space. Then you get your hot cocoa bomb and you drop it in your milk and let's watch. <laughs> and it takes a minute. It takes a little bit. But it's super fun. It was really exciting when it burst open and the marshmallows popped up to the top. They do have boxes there too. I got my boxes from Party City. So you can, um, they do, like I said, Cake Carousel does have boxes. 
and uh, so does Party City. Party City is where I got mine. But I really like adding it to hot milk just because that outer chocolate shell and then the inside of your hot cocoa mix just really makes it super chocolatey and creamy. It's really, really good. Um, you can see our, <gasps> our, our bomb it's is melting. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yes, please watch the replay if you haven't seen it. And there those marshmallows are. Okay, so at this point, then I just get my spoon and I just stir it up. And now you have your creamy hot chocolate. How fun is that? Now who gets to drink this one tonight? <laughs> there we go. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed the hot cocoa bombs. They're super fun to make, and I'd love to see your pictures of the ones that you make. Please message me or leave in the comments if you have any questions. Y'all have a wonderful night, and don't forget to comment hashtag VIP if y'all want to be in my VIP group. Good night, you guys. Bye.